volunteers are extremely important. I think um, without them, uh, we have no future. We're all getting older and uh, more tired as the days go by. And I think it's nice to see some young faces around the place starting to get involved in all aspects of the, of the railway's operation. I started originally to, um, volunteering for my Duke of Edinburgh's Award. You know, I, I did this for the voluntary section of us. And then obviously I uh, started it and then I wanted to do a certain amount of hours. I think I did that within the first few weeks and then and, you know, enjoyed it and stayed on. My late dad used to take me to the National Railway Museum in York and it was really interesting. I started to get involved with the Wednesday Railway when some people from Wednesday Railway came into the school and they gave a talk and a presentation on it and they said at the end if anyone was interested they could um, come and start a group called the Junior Railers. I'd try to do it at least every, you know, one day every fortnight but obviously in the summer holidays and everything I came down a few days a week. I tend to just do ticket inspection on the train because that's what, you know, it's, that's how I can speak to the passengers most and, you know, do what I enjoy doing. I work on the railway because it's fun and sometimes in the holidays I've got any spare time. Instead of just sitting at home I can come to railway and actually do something and make something of my day. For the railway I normally do TTI, which is train ticket inspector, but I sometimes do restoration, just restoring the carriages down the line. But I can do some of the guard duties as well, like head counting. Operation-wise, I enjoy, you know, working on the trains with the passengers because I, li I like to meet them. Because you know, there's, you know, there's always something interesting. And it's, it, you know, it sounds a bit of a cliche, but it, it, you know, there's something different each day. I, I do find interacting with the, the local people really, well, really easy because I know some of them, which is quite nice. I can just sit down and talk to them and show them some of the sites. That Politics, please. Thanks a lot. Excellent day, well, thank you. You do get a sense of pride, I suppose, wearing the uniform and everything, and you know, dealing with people. And when people say how smart you look on the train, and you know, when when people leave the train at the end of the day and they say, you know, thank you very much, I've had a great day. You know, it, it does. It makes you feel like you've, you know, you've spent your time well doing it. You know, it's yeah, it's a definite reward for doing it. It's a deal with sense of pride because the Wednesday runs down the back of my garden, so every time I see it, I do have a sense of belonging to the railway. The other volunteers and the staff, you know, they're great, you know, they're really nice with me, even though I'm so young. Some of my school friends actually do work on the railway with me, which is quite nice because you can meet up at the weekends and just have a, a chat and get on with it and actually do something with our day. I get along with everyone really well because they just like treat me like one of the boys because there's not many women that actually work on the railway. The thing that interests me most about the railway is, is the history that it's had. It's interesting to see the decline and then the fall of it and then now slowly the rise again of it and you know hopefully with the future projects that will happen with this. It'd be nice to see the railway go somewhere, you know, be it eastwards to North Island or west towards Aethergarth. It, it will be, it'd be nice because everyone works so hard on this. It would be nice to see everyone's efforts, you know, paid off basically. The train I've been doing is I'm going working towards my PTS and I've been revising for that and I'm going to do the PTS, which is personal track safety test soon. I think um, Wednesday Railway is probably one of the best places in the country to climb the ladder quickly. We're a relatively small team, we have vacancies at all levels, so if you have the aptitude and you're prepared to put the time and effort in, yeah, you'll, you'll get there quite quickly. Uh, in many places it takes years to be a driver, but it could be done here relatively quickly. I quite like to be a guard and a driver. I quite like to drive a, a steam train because everything's a little girl. I know it's not really feminine, but I quite like to drive a steam one. Why do I do it? A, I enjoy it, and B, I get a lot out of this. You know, like I've I've certainly become more confident with dealing with people that I don't know since I've started this. And you know, it looks good on my CV, that sort of thing. That I want, you know, do voluntary work in that. No, but probably the main reason of all is that the fact that I enjoy it, and you know, enjoy meeting all the people that come with it as well. It shows the individuals in a good light. Uh, they're volunteering to do that. Must be good for their future. It's a great thing to put on your CV. And uh, I think for, both for them and for the railway, it's a very positive development. I think it will look really good on my CV, showing that I actually have worked and it's volunteer work, so I can get that on my CV and employment. Some young people will come and do their stint for their award. 
and move on to something else, but others will find it something they have an aptitude and, uh, and, and, and enjoy and become enthusiastic about it in, in themselves and, and continue, as Andrew has, to, uh, to volunteer long after his award stint is finished. I would certainly recommend that no one ever gets put off volunteering for, you know, for risk of being called an anorak, etc, etc, because it, it certainly does offer much more than that. I mean, myself, for example, I enjoy it and I don't, you know, I'm not a railway enthusiast. Uh, well, young volunteers at the moment are working in all aspects of the railway. We've had people working in administration, we've had people doing carriage restoration, we've got a number of people doing work on locomotives and uh, uh, training as second men, a number of trainee guards. Uh, young Andrew is, is quite a competent guard, the only thing that stops him passing in the exam is his age, so it won't be too long before he can, he can step into a guard's role. Um, and people doing all, in, working in all aspects of the, of the railway's operation. In particular, we've got young, one young man who seems to spend his life shoveling ash out of the, out of the pit following steam locomotives, but he enjoys it, so that's great.